You lot already know it takes me long to talk because I try to stay out the mix. But this just only situation and men. Why are men screaming ah oh, after good fair women rare rare rare? You lot are serial cheaters. You lot are serial cheaters. Cool. That guy might have been a good guy, and yes, she messed up. But you lot that are coming on your phones to talk the, the nonsense that's coming out your mouth, yeah. You lot are serial cheaters, bro. Like you lot don't cheat one time. You lot will cheat all eight. 13 times manipulate your woman back into the relationship do you understand and it's you serial cheaters or outdoor hookers yeah that are up, out here talking do you understand get her girl in her feelings and go and go for crown and then when she mad oh, i'm not in a relate bro like you didn't even you wasn't even honest you wasn't even straight up sup bro like bro i'm sorry to jasani's ex do you understand i'm sorry i don't know if ASAP Rocky was performing a concert and he called me to the stage and I happened to be there with a partner, I would go. <laughs> I would go. Why is everyone acting so self-righteous? You guys are acting like you're the best people on earth. With the right person for the right celebrity, for your celebrity crush, you would go. And you yes. want to know what's funny? You don't even know what's going on in their relationship. You don't even know if this girl has been waiting to break up with this boy for a minute now. You don't know if he treats her like shit. You don't know if maybe that concert, he got her those concert tickets as an apology for Miss, let's say he did something wrong. You don't know. The girl has even refused to give you guys any response because right now she doesn't care. All she cares about is that she was called on stage by a man that she obviously adores. And now she's the most viral person on the internet. You're literally making her life better. You're validating her choices. For the right celebrity, I would have been on that stage behind and in front of the curtains. Whoa. Yes. Mm -hmm. This on Malay situation with this girl is a primary example of when you allow a woman to take care of you, this is where the disrespect comes into play. She mentioned, oh, I pay for the tickets myself. If I wanted to take care of my man, I could take care of my man. Red flag number one. It just shows you what these females think of average black men. And I stumbled upon a picture on Google of these white women who are pregnant with their partners, husbands. But what was the most consistent thing I saw in this picture here? Because we all know they're married and now literally preparing for a family. Every single one of them, man and women, are average no one is above even a seven but how is it they're so happy and fulfilled in that moment no one there exceeds any of this expectation that females love to go on about no one actually meets any of these aesthetics that they're so obsessed about these vibes height and whatever intrigues these females minds you don't see that in this picture yet with black females you think and they think excuse me they deserve better if we were to transform those men into black men none of these females would bat an eye or even be interested instead they rather go online to bash average black men for not meeting their standards I wanted to show this as an example how this is an issue within the black community as I see average white families, couples, married or not, everywhere every single day and none of them have this absurd mindset or expectation or entitlement. Black females think so little of average black men, they're justifying cheating, they're justifying disrespecting him, they're justifying publicly humiliating him. We wonder why we're in the state we're in as a community. Do you think any of these females on TikTok are any better than those women in the picture with their partners? Do you think they all think they're baddies and tens? Do you think they're shouting I don't do 50-50 in that picture? Do you think they're jumping on stage with another man? No, but we got average dusty females who were just as average as the rest of them in the picture. And if we strip off every piercing, every hair, every makeup, all their revealing clothes, none of you are any different from average people. Which is why none of these females get married, stay single and have no value. They cannot even respect themselves in a relationship, let alone respect their partner in the relationship. All because they think they're entitled to better when they're not even the equivalent to what better is. And what is better to these females? And what is better to those average white women with their average white men? What do you think is important to those women, to those white women that we see in the picture? What do you think they value? 
It's clear it's the polar opposite with these black females. I say all of this not to cause some division or to divert to other races. As we can see, they all are mostly with their own and there's only one interracial couple but they all chose to be with their white man and white woman. So this isn't about dating outside of our race, but it's understanding the psyche of these females and how far backwards their mentality really is. And you know, these females always like to compare black men to other group of races. So all I'm doing is comparing black females to other group of races. We have black women in the black community who are in healthy marriages and relationships and are average, as majority of society is average just like these females are, just like majority of us are, average. The problem is, females who promote this nuance outnumber traditional black women in the black community. That it's beginning to be hard to actually see reality through females' lenses, because none of them actually do. But do you know who does? Those same white couples who we saw in the picture. That's the main difference to why black females can't get anywhere in the dating scene or further in the talking stage because men see what they're working with and it's not really much. I'm your hostess, Reminate Princess. These are my last thoughts. The main reason I spoke about the picture and compared them to black females is to see the difference in how other ethnic groups find it easy to just get on with life together and somehow in the black community black females always need to make it a problem to just do that and it's clear to see that they're the problem let me know what you think I would also like to give a very, very big shout out to all my supporters as I appreciate every single one of you for supporting the channel as it's because of you, it is where it is and does what it does. So a big shout out to Daniel Karoma, Bernard Gohard, Poofman Jagan, Mr. Boring, Wesley Hillard, Millennial BM, Tim Ben Israel, Eric Jordan, and lastly, Keith Salmon. I would like to say thank you for every single one of your contribution, your super thanks, as it does go a long way. So thank you, and I'll continue to do what I do. It's very much appreciated. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!